Hi everybody, Dave Herbert here. Today I want to talk to you about the latest version of the Avion. You know, I did a review on this a long time ago and they made some improvements. I just wanted to show them what they were and show. What was that? Oh, excuse me. Sure. Oh, I've just been handed the bulletin. That's good. Thank you, Alvira. Nice to see you. Look a little flat chested these days, but nonetheless, still puts them pretty good to me. Okay, what is this? Ah, this is from Reuters. This is about LiPo batteries. Chicago. U.S. engineers have found a way to make lithium batteries that are smaller, lighter, longer lasting, and capable of recharging in seconds. Wow. The researchers believe that the quick charging batteries could open up new applications, including better batteries for electric cars, about airplanes and helicopters. The current rechargeable lithium batteries can store large amounts of energy, making them long running, but they're stingy about releasing their power, making them discharge slowly, and they require hours to recharge. Gosh, don't we know that? We hate that. I do anyway. Scientists traditionally have blamed slow-moving lithium ions which carry charge across the battery for this sluggishness. However, about five years ago, Gerbrand Cedar and a team at MIT discovered that lithium ions in traditional lithium ion phosphate battery material actually move quite quickly. Cedar and colleagues discovered that lithium ions travel through tunnels excess from the surface of the material. If a lithium ion at the surface is directly in front of a tunnel, it can quickly deliver the charge. But if the ion is not at the entrance, it cannot easily move there, making it less efficient at delivering a charge. That makes sense. They created many smooth tunnels in the material that allow the ions to slip in and out easily. Using their new processing technique, the team made a small battery that could be fully charged in 10 to 20 seconds. <laughs> wow. They say they can make smaller, lighter batteries because less material is actually needed for the same result. That's fantastic. It's as if uh, manufacturers decide they want to go down this road, they could do this in a few years. Uh, the only drawback is that we're going to need bigger wires on the batteries. <laughs> okay, so there you go folks. I thought I'd let you know on what's going on with the latest in technology. This is exciting uh, for electric flyers like us. I hope you really enjoyed this and uh, keep your fingers crossed this happens. We'll see you on the next show. Bye.